Hello, my name is Darcy and this is my YouTube channel, Fostering Cats. Today I'm going to talk about feline ringworm glow, what it is and how to identify it. In essence, when we talk about ringworm glow, we are referring to how the hair on a cat with ringworm will glow apple or emerald green under a woods lamp or black light. Here is an example of that. This kitten has a spot of ringworm on its ear. When you look closely, you can see the individual hairs are glowing green. The skin is not glowing. Here is a second example. It's a little harder to see the hairs this time and the glow is a little more yellowish, but there is still hair loss with distinctive glowing hairs. And in this third example, you can clearly see how the individual hairs are glowing green. Just to be clear, there aren't some hairs glowing in a mixture of non-glowing hairs. This kitten was named Grummy and he had a severe case of ringworm. Here's a couple pictures of him. As you can see, he had very little hair left and what he did have glowed. Now that I've shown you what ringworm glow looks like, let's talk about how to make ringworm glow. So first thing you need to understand is what a woods lamp is. A woods lamp is a device that emits light at wavelengths between 320 and 400 nanometers with a peak at 365 nanometers. Now I want you to keep that number 365 nanometers in your head because it's going to come back up here in a minute. Now woods lamp was developed back in 1903 by Robert Wood. That's how it got its name. And it was first used to identify feline ringworm in 1933. So it's been around a long time. Now, good woods lamp, like the one uh, seen in the picture here, sells for several hundred dollars. And typically, it will have a magnifying glass on, uh, on it to help uh, identify ringworm. However, an LED blacklight is as effective as a woods lamp. A regular LED blacklight was proven to be as effective in identifying ringworm according to a 2016 study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology. Now, Dr. Karen Moriello has stated in some of her studies that a woods lamp is often mistakenly re referred as a blacklight, but these are distinctly different things. Uh, however, I think she's more referring to the incandescent type uh, blacklight than the LED blacklight. The black light in the picture here uh, emits a light at 365 nanometers. Remember how I said that was going to be important. So it's the same wavelength as a woods lamp and it costs $12 on Amazon. It is one of my favorites and I have included a link to it in the video's description. So what causes ringworm hairs to glow? Fluorescence is a chemical metabolite of the fungus that coats the hair as it is produced. The fungus grows in the hair follicle and along the base of the hair. Fluorescence will be seen most commonly close to the skin, but often the entire shaft of the hair will glow. The fluorescence is due to a chemical interaction that occurs as a result of the infection and is not associated with spores or infective material. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, but you know, only 50% of ringworm glows, uh, let me just get that out of the way right now. The belief that only 50% of feline ringworm glows is wrong. I'm going to repeat that. The belief that only 50% of feline ringworm glows is wrong. So please stop saying this. Now let me kind of break it down to you. In reality, over 90% of feline ringworm infections will glow. This is not just my opinion. This has been proven by studies. In fact, Dr. Moriello has said uh, fluorescent hairs are most common in untreated infections and you'll see it 91 to 100% of cases in various studies. Microsporum canis, which accounts for over 90% of feline ringworm, glows. It glows. There's, there's no way to get around this. It causes the fluorescence to, and it glows. There are two other types of ringworm that cats can get. Um, one used to be known as trichophyton metagrophytes. It's now known as atherderma simi. May or may not glow in cats. Studies have shown it doesn't glow in rabbits. I feel like it glowed in, in my history, but I don't have any proof of that. So it, it may or may not glow, but it's a very small percentage of uh, ringworm. Microsporin gypsum, which is the other kind of small percentage of ringworm, uh, does not glow. And I will probably produce a video on, on microsporin gypsum at a future date. So I'm not going to go into that there. Now, if you're sitting there going, but no, I've had a ton of ringworm cats and kittens and they have never glowed. Well, let's kind of break it down and I'll explain why you believe this. Uh, I'm going to say you believe it because it most likely you had glow, you just didn't see it. And just because you didn't see it didn't mean it wasn't there. So 
Ringworm fungi live in the hair shaft. They invade the hair shaft and cause the hair shaft to burst and break off at the hairline. So ringworm hairs don't fall out, they break off. When you're observing the broken bits of hair left, it can be difficult, if not impossible, unless using a magnifying glass. This is why a woods lamp has a magnifying glass on it. Uh, glow can be obscured by crust, making it important to lift crust to examine infection sites for, for fluorescent. And very early in the infection, the hairs are short and easily overlooked. And to prove this to you, I'm going to give you a case study from my own history. This is a cat that uh, suddenly developed a spot a couple of days after I got it. And I was talking to my friend who happened to be a shelter veterinarian, and I was telling her that this cat had a spot on its uh, leg that looked like ringworm. And I was like, but when I looked at it under black light, I didn't see any glowing hairs. And I always found glow. So I was like, this is really, really weird because it looks like ringworm and it doesn't glow. So I decided I was going to send her a couple pictures. I took a picture under natural light, and then I took a picture under black light because you can't tell ringworm one way or the other under natural light. And when I took the picture under black light, here you'll see, um, you'll notice uh, there's the glowing hairs. Because I was able to blow up the picture, I was able to see the glowing hairs. They were too small for me to see with the naked eye. But they were there. I just didn't see them at first. So this is likely what has happened in the past. You had glowing hairs, you had a, you know, you diagnosed the cat with ringworm without seeing the glowing hairs, and by the time you started treatment, you just never saw the glow. But it was there. And it's important to understand that glow and hair loss appear relatively quickly and around at the same time. So lesions uh, or the hair loss typically appear between day 7 and day 14. Uh, some studies have shown it's as late as day 21, but Glowing hairs have been known to appear as early as day 5 to day 7 and definitely by day 10 to day 14. So the glowing hair is only going to appear like a day or two before the hair is going to fall out. So you just don't see it. Uh, here's an example of sometimes why you might not see glow. This is a case of a very severe ringworm. As you can see, the cat is like very bald on the top of his head. and uh, But there's only just a little tiny portion of glowing hair above the ear and because most of the hair is gone. But normally what you're going to see is something more like this. Uh, this is, you see, the cat has a spot, actually like three separate spots of ringworm on its ear. And so you're going to see the hair loss and then you look at it under the black light and you're going to see def definitive glowing spots. Here's another case. Um, this cat, um, really you couldn't see very much of the ringworm. I just noticed like this, like little black spots on his face. And when I looked at it in a black light, I got the very distinctive glow of the hairs. Now, one of the problems people often have is with false fluorescence. The fluorescence of microsperm canis hairs of the apple emerald green is dis strikingly distinct and in active infections involves the intrafolicle portion of the hair shaft, which can be examined microscopically to confirm infection. I'm going to talk about the examining it microscopically in a minute. Things that glow that are not ringworm, doxycycline, myosin, carpet fibers, dander, soap, residue, lint, urine, and a, a bunch of other things. These are going to lack the apple emerald green fluorescence. Uh, you may also may see a smoother, more even glow with false fluorescence than you do with ringworm. I think this is a good picture. You can see there's like little glowing spots on him that's not ringworm, although his ears do kind of look like they have ringworm. They actually didn't. I think he did have ringworm, but he, this was not a picture of the ringworm. So that's, so if you see something like that, it's that's not ringworm. But what if you see something like this? Now this is kind of an interesting picture because it does look like the kind of what I was showing you, the glow. It's not quite the right color, but but you know, he's like in close. Um, and this paw here, and then this is the picture of the same kitten you see again. This looks more like the apple green glow that you're expecting with ringworm and it does look like the hairs are glowing. Um, and then again, you see here kind of the same type of glow around the face. But when you look at the cat under natural light, this is the same kitten, um, where the glow was around the, you know, the, the chin and every area, you see there's absolutely no hair loss. Now there's this little crusty spot um, kind of below his chin, and that was just some kind of uh, smuts or something and, and wiped right off. And once I wiped it off, there was no glow there either. But there's absolutely no hair loss where the glow is. And the same thing with the paw. I don't have a picture of it, but there was no hair loss in the paw. Now, he did have a sibling that uh, was a little black kitten. And, uh, of course, he had the little, like, uh, hair loss around the face. And 
but this you see has kind of the almost the same pattern as the sibling did with the glow, but uh, there is no hair glowing there. There's hair loss, and this is also very typical of kittens that get food stuck around their face, and then you wipe it off and it takes the hair. Uh, whiskers can be bitten off by kittens. So this is kind of normal hair loss, and there's no glow. So where there was glow, there was no hair loss. Where there's hair loss, there's no glow. And of course, because he's a black kitten, and black kittens are notorious about having little spots of hair loss that stand way out, uh, he had a little spot of hair loss on his back legs, which again is fairly common with uh, with kittens. Um, but it, And again, there's no glow there. So this was all fall fluorescent. The shelter sent him to me because they thought they had ringworm. I was immediately able to identify that they did not have ringworm, but... Uh, you know, just by looking at them and saying, well, there's glow, but no hair loss, and there's hair loss, but no glow, and never got any between. Cats do not develop. If you see a big spot of glow like that, and if it was ringworm, you're going to have hair loss in the next day or two, and they didn't have any hair loss. But there's also a better way of identifying, you know, identifying ringworm when you have this kind of false fluorescent, and that is by looking at the hair under a microscope. And so what you do is you pluck the glowing hair and a couple of normal hairs off the cat. You put it on some clear tape. I just use clear scotch tape and apply it to a slide and look at it under a microscope. I don't turn the light on the microscope. I actually use my black light. And so the big hair shaft there is actually a ringworm hair. The other hairs are other cat hairs. And so you see it, it makes the hair look distinctly different. Uh, you know, a typical, you know, hair that just has... Uh, medicine or something like that on it isn't going to look that way it's it it changes the structure the the glow the uh, you know metabolite whatever changes the the hair structure so that's a uh, dr morello considers as a snap test for ringworm that if you identify this type of hair it is ringworm it's only going to be ringworm so now the last thing i'm going to talk about is does glow mean a cat is still contagious or still ringworm positive so the answer to this question is maybe one characteristic uh, you'll find in cats that have been treated or after they're cured is that they have what's called glowing tips, where the hair is glowing, but the base or the shaft of the hair is not glowing. So you can kind of see in this picture, the tips of the whisker are still have that apple green color, but the base does not. So this is typical of a cat that's been cured, or at least that spot has been cured. But if the base of the hair is glowing, the cat is most likely still infected. So it does not guarantee the only way you're going to find out if a cat is still positive is to do the culture. But if you're seeing glowing tips, that spot at least has been cured. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. You can also find more about Ringworm on my Facebook page, Ringworm Cats and Kittens, or in the Facebook group, Ringworm Cats and Kittens. I also have a website, fosteringcats.com, where I will be posting all of the pictures you see in here, plus more. So if you want to get a better look at them, uh, you can go there. Link is in the comments. But otherwise, have a joyous day. Bye.